Right. So yesterday, I have given a slight introduction regarding the urea cycle. Why the urea cycle? Okay. So urea cycle, uh, what are the uh, other names of urea cycle? So urea cycle is for the conversion of ammonia, which is released due to the uh, deamination or, you know, removal of amino group from amino acids and amino group from purines, pyrimidines, like nitrogenous compounds. The ammonia is very harmful in simple term. It should be converted into non-harmful compound, that is, or less harmful compound, that is urea. So that process of conversion of ammonia into urea is called urea cycle. Its another name is Artipin cycle. Okay, it is also known as uh, Krebs and Sleep cycle. Uh, we all know that. And, uh, the, the complete each and every reaction of uh, urea cycle was um, explained by Ratner and Cohen. So this is overall uh, reaction of urea cycle. Carbon dioxide uh, plus ammonia, they are combined okay, to form carbomyl phosphate. Uh, then it joins with ornithine to generate citrulline. So to which aspartate or aspartic acid is an amino acid is combined to form arginosuccinate, which is dissociated to fumarate and arginine. Arginine finally dissociated or hydrolyzed to urea and ornithine. Here the ornithine is regenerated just like uh, the TCA cycle oxaloestric acid. Yeah, yeah. So here, as arnithin is regenerated here, so it is also famous as arnithin cycle. Okay, so anyway, the urea, this is important. We should remember this. Urea has two amino groups, okay, one and two. One derived from ammonia, red color, okay. Another derived from aspartic acid, which is an amino acid, okay, here the ash color okay and the carbon blue color one of urea is derived or given by the carbon X. both of these are harmful components okay which are not useful for the body okay so they are eliminated so combined in the form of urea urea then is sent to the kidneys and mixed with the urine and sent out so urea synthesis is a five-step cyclic process with five distinct enzymes. Okay, the first two enzymes, this is important. The first two enzymes are present in mitochondria, while the rest are localized in cytoplasm or cytosol. Okay, so here, carbomyl phosphate synthase 1. Okay, so to be precise, we can also call it as carbomyl phosphate synthase. Okay, of mitochondria. Mitochondria one carbonyl phosphate synthase one. So it combines ammonia and CO to form carbomyl phosphate. Okay, so carbomyl phosphate E enzyme summation lo adi form just to be. This step consumes two ATPs and is hey, Okay, so here you I, uh, remember the first step consumes two ATPs and is irreversible and is a regulating step. Okay, so how the two ATPs are utilized okay in general we are we all know that only one atp at a time is utilized so that is common but here two atps actually the equal to two atps energy is utilized not two atps okay so cps1 requires uh, carbamyl phosphate synthase one requires n style glutamate for its activity. Another enzyme, carbomyl phosphate synthase 2, CPS2, involved in pyrimidine synthesis is present in 
సైటోప్లాజం ఓకే సో కార్బోమైల్ ఫాస్పేట్ సింథేస్ టూ కూడా ఉంటుంది దట్ ఈస్ రిలేటెడ్ టు పిరమిడిన్ సింథసిస్ ఓకే అండ్ దట్ ఈస్ నాట్ ప్రెసెంట్ ఇన్ ది మైటోపాండ్రియా ఓకే సో ఎనీవే ఇట్ యాక్సెప్ట్ ఇట్ యాక్సెప్ట్ అమైనో గ్రూప్ ఫ్రమ్ గ్లూటమైన్ అండ్ డస్ నాట్ రిక్వైర్ ఎన్ ఎస్టైన్ గ్లూటమైట్ ఫర్ ఇట్స్ యాక్టివిటీ సో దానికి దీనికి తేడా ఏంటి అంటే సిపిఎస్ వన్ కి ఎన్ఎస్టైల్ గ్లూటమేట్ అనే ఒక కో ఎంజైన్ అవసరం సిపిఎస్ టూ కి అది అవసరం లేదు సో ఎనీవే హియర్ దిస్ ఈస్ ద సైకిల్ సి సైకిల్ ఇన్ డీటెయిల్ ఓకే సో హియర్ సిఓ టూ ప్లస్ ఎన్హెచ్ ఫోర్ హియర్ ఇట్ ఈస్ గివెన్ యాజ్ టూ ఏటిపీస్ యాక్చువల్లీ ఇన్ మెనీ బుక్స్ ఇట్ ఈస్ రిటర్న్ యాజ్ వన్ ఏటిపి ఓకే దట్ ప్రొడ్యూసెస్ వన్ ఏఎంపి టూ ఇనార్గానిక్ ఫాస్పేట్స్ అని ఇస్తారు అదర్ బుక్ వేరే డిఫరెంట్ బుక్స్ లో ఇక్కడ సింపుల్ గా టూ ఇనార్గానిక్ ఫాస్పేట్స్ అంటే టూ పిఐస్ ఆర్ లిబరేటెడ్ అండ్ వన్ ఏఎంపి ఏఎంపి అంటే ఏంటి so here from a single atp oka single atp nunchi atp ante enti adenosine triphosphate ante dinlo moodu phosphate lu untayi ani artham manaku telusu andulo rendu phosphate lu laagaye padtayi so dani valla adp ki badalu amp ane produce avutundi సో ఇక్కడ రెండు ఏటీపీల ఎనర్జీకి సమానమైన ఎనర్జీ యూజ్ చేయబడుతుంది అని దాని మీనింగ్ ఓకే సో ఎనీవే హియర్ సో సిఓ టూ ప్లస్ ఎన్హెచ్ ఫోర్ దర్ కంబైన్ ఇన్ ద ప్రెజెన్స్ ఆఫ్ ఎన్ఎస్టైల్ గ్లూటమైన్ అండ్ కార్బోమైల్ పాస్పెట్ సింథేస్ ఈజ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ సిపిఎస్ వన్ ఓకే టు ఫామ్ carbomyl phosphate and where this reaction is occurring in mitochondrial matrix first reaction so carbomyl phosphate immediately after formation in this arnithin it moves into the mitochondria and here this enzyme arnithin trans carbomylase okay so that removes this phosphate from carbomyl phosphate okay as inorganic phosphate to form citrulline meer ikkada structure observe chesthe adi idi rendu e structure ki ee ee structure add cheyabadutundante so ikkada manam structure ni by heart cheyala avasaram ledhu you just remember the concept and names of the special enzymes or all enzymes and location okay that is important okay here carbomyl phosphate combines with arnithin in the presence of arnithin trans carbomylase by removing the phosphate okay to form you know the citrulline citrulline anedi inko common acid okay so which is non standard amino acid the citrulline is formed okay this citrulline combines with an amino acid called aspartic acid okay you can call it as aspartate ikkada h ledu kabatti aspartate anta so citrulline combines with aspartate here atp two atps okay here first reaction two two atps ikkada ichadu uh, atp two phosphates are removed the third reaction sorry citrulline 
combines with aspartate okay uh, in the presence of atp which is converted into aap okay so here two atp's energies is consumed in the presence of enzyme arginosuccinate synthase and the as it is ga e aspartate anedi ikkada e c double bond position lo okay attach cheyabadutundi ante idi attach ayyadu chudu simple ga anyway mana structure tho sambandham ledhu citrullin combines with aspartic acid or aspartate in the presence of arginosuccinate synthase to produce arginosuccinate arginosuccinate is a very big compound okay so immediately with the help of the enzyme arginosuccinase this is arginosuccinic acid or succinate okay it liberates the fumarate okay so here the release of fumarate is occurred in the presence of arginosuccinase to form arginine which is an amino acid di basic amino acid or basic amino acid here arginine in the presence of the enzyme arginase okay so undergoes hydrolysis okay which is very very crucial uh, step to release the urea okay so ikkada oka oxygen anadi add aitundi so a urea and arnithin so this arnithin again it is ready to react with this carbonyl phosphate this is uh, here first two reactions are occurred in mitochondria citrullin after formation enters into aspart uh, cyto sal or uh, cytoplasm combines with aspartate to form arginosuccinate from which fumarate is uh, released to form arginine so from which so due to its hydrolysis urea and arnithin are, are produced arnithin is reusable compound okay so we have seen the first reaction in which two atps are uh, utilized okay so second one is formation of citrullin we have seen citrullin is synthesized from carbamyl phosphate and arnithin are rendu combined out in the presence of arnithin trans carbamylase enzyme arnithin is regenerated and used in urea cycle in kadavs all right so therefore antaram uh, arnithin and citrullin are basic amino acids kadavs all right so they are non standard amino acids okay so they are even though they are amino acids they don't have genetic codes okay so they are called non standard amino acids anyway citrullin produced in this reaction is transported to cytoplasm by a transporter system a special transporter system dwara okay they are sent to the cytosol or cytoplasm okay so now we have citrullin so synthesis of argino succinate okay so argino succinate synthase condenses combines citrullin with aspartic acid to produce argino succinic acid or argino succinate okay the second amino group of urea is incorporated in this reaction in starting lo ne cheppanu so ikkada ఆ యొక్క మొదటి అమైనో గ్రూప్ ఏమో అమోనియా నుంచి వస్తుంది రెండో అమైనో గ్రూప్ ఏమో ఇక్కడ మనకి అస్పటిక్ యాసిడ్ నుంచి ప్రొవైడ్ చేయబడుతుంది దిస్ స్టెప్ రిక్వైర్స్ ఏటిపి విచ్ ఈస్ క్లీవ్ టు ఏఎంపి సో బై లిబరేటింగ్ ఎ పైరో ఫాస్పేట్ పైరో అంటే రెండు ద లాటర్ ఈస్ ఇమీడియట్లీ బ్రోకెన్ డౌన్ టు ఇనార్గానిక్ ఫాస్పేట్ అవి రెండు సెపరేట్ అయి రెండు ఇనార్గానిక్ ఫాస్పేట్ గా డివైడ్ అవుతాయి ఓకే సో దెన్ క్లీవేజ్ ఆఫ్ ఆర్జినో ఆర్ బ్రేక్ డౌన్ ఆఫ్ ఆర్జినో సక్సినేట్ మన ప్రీవియస్ రియాక్షన్ లో ఏం ఫామ్ అయింది ఆర్జినో సక్సినేట్ ఫామ్ అయింది సో ఆర్జినో సక్సినేస్ ఈజ్ అన్ ఎంజైన్ దట్ క్లీవ్స్ ఆర్జినో సక్సినేట్ టు గివ్ ఆర్జినిన్ అండ్ ఫ్యూమరేట్ 
fumarate and palm water chala important. Anyway, argil is the immediate precursor for urea. Okay, so fumarate liberated here provides connecting link with the TCA cycle and gluconeogenesis. Okay, you could form and fumarate and the auxiliary state to the convert the TCA cycle loki giant with the so now we have in the arginine succinate trees arginine succinate to arginine and fumarate fumarate goes to tca cycle we have arginine okay arginase is an enzyme is the fifth and final enzyme that cleaves arginine to yield urea okay urea and the manako arginine produce of the and arnithin arnithin mura manako produce of the so this arnithin will continue the uh, urea cycle. Okay, arnithin so regenerated enters mitochondria for its reuse in the urea cycle. Arginase is activated by uh, cobalt and uh, manganese. So, cobalt. so not CO2, this is, okay. So this is cobalt. Arginase, okay, it, it takes the help of cobalt plus 2 and Mn plus 2. Arnithin and lysine compete with the arginine. So, yeah, arginase is mostly found in liver, while the rest of the enzymes of urea cycle are also present in other tissues. So, arginase is exclusively found in liver. The total urea cycle occurs in the liver. Even though all other enzymes are present in the other tissues, okay, but arginase is not present in the other tissues. So, urea cycle is exclusively occurs in what we call the liver okay particularly in the liver cells hepatocytes in which first two reactions are occurred in mitochondria remaining three reactions are occurred in the cytosol okay so for this reason arginine synthesis may occur to vary with this in many tissues arginine varaku migita tissues lo kuda ee ee cycle jarochu so, but only liver can convert arginine to yeah, okay, so right, so that is how the urea cycle is completed. The urea cycle is irreversible, the reaction is reversible and consumes 4 ATP. Actually, literally, 3 ATPs they participate, but 4 uh, ATPs energy is utilized because you stay in the overall reaction of 3 ATPs. Is the Okay, urea form and fumarate form and the other one. Rendu UDP, Rendu inorganic phosphate, Oka AMP, Oka pyrophosphate. Okay, participate in mood ATP, utilize energy, 4 ATPs energy. 4 ATP energy. Okay, 2 ATPs are utilized for the synthesis of thermomyl phosphate. It is the first reaction. Okay. One ATP is converted to AMP and pyrophosphate to produce arginosuccinate, which is equal to two ATPs. Okay, hence four ATPs are actually consumed. So this is the overall reaction. Ikkada manaki in the root the ATP utilize This is a catabolic uh, reaction. Okay, so here there is no energy uh, generated. But energy is utilized in the form of 3 ATPs equal to 4 ATP energy. So, 1 ammonia NH4 plus carbon dioxide. Okay. Ammonia is formed from the amino acids and purines and pyramids. CO2 is generated in the cellular uh, respiration. Okay. Aspartate is an amino acid. ATPs are so energy currency. 
Okay, so these are combined to produce one molecule of urea or the one fumaric acid, which is a connecting link between the urea cycle and uh, you know the TCA cycle. Okay, so first reaction lo rendu ADP lo rendu inorganic uh, phosphate produce aga outai. Third reaction lo okay ATP nunchi okay AMP okay pyrophosphate ani thundi. Ante jointed ga unte pyrophosphate unta. Separate ga unte inorganic phosphate unta. Okay, so that is overall a reaction. So we should remember. And regulation of urea cycle. The first reaction catalyzed by the carbamyl phosphate synthase 1, I enjoy me the tondo, is the first reaction me the tondo, CPS 1 enzyme, Jarbet 20, a CO2 plus NH4 to form carbamyl phosphate, and it 20 oka reaction in the rate limiting reaction that is committed step in urea synthesis okay cps1 is allosterically activated by n-acetyl glutamate here uh, okay so the rate of urea synthesis in liver is correlated with the concentration of n-acetyl glutamate at the liver low urea airport are key are the n-acetyl glutamate unte urea ne the airport lake about the airport okay so how the n-style glutamate is generally produced okay so style coenzyme a and glutamate they are combined in the presence of energy synthase to liberate this coenzyme a and n-style glutamate is formed okay so this n-style glutamate okay so by the enzyme energy hydrolase Okay, uh, by losing an acetate, it again can be produce this glutamate. Okay, the consumption of protein rich meal increases the level of energy, NSTL glutamate, in liver, leading to enhanced urea synthesis. Protein meal echo the teaspoon take on the NSTL glutamate echo form. Okay, urea synthesis and echo. Carbamyl phosphate synthase 1. And the glutamate dehydrogenase are the local are the enzymes uh, they are localized in the mitochondria. So yeah, they coordinate with each other in the formation of ammonia and its utilization for the synthesis of carbamyl phosphate. Glutamate dehydrogenase and it will be transamination use of the okay. Transamination and deamination are important The immediate ammonia produces from the Okay, so our other producer is ammonia, so carbonyl phosphate with CO2. Okay, so they will be coordinated with each other and uh, to form carbonyl phosphate. CO2 to help the carbonyl phosphate and uh, phosphate synthesis and the carbonyl phosphate. No, that is the The remaining four engines of urea cycle are mostly controlled by the concentration of their respective substrates. The Lomita compounds and Nikura put about substrates on the work just a lake for So, disposal of urea produced in the liver freely diffuses. So, urea produced in the liver, okay, so it freely. Freely diffuses and is transported in blood to kidneys and excreted. Irakanga kidney liver la produce it at urea easily blood to dispose of the okay and easily excreted. Okay, a small amount of urea enters the intestine okay, through the bloodstream where it can be broken down into CO2 and NH3. By the bacterial enzyme urease. Okay, among this, okay, so the CO2 and some amount of ammonia is so excreted through the undigested waste. Okay, and some amount of ammonia may be taken up again into the blood. Very, very less amount. So the integration between the urea cycle and TCA cycle. 
Okay, so there are three links between urea cycle and TCA cycle. Okay, so this is regarded as a bicyclic integration. Rendu cyclic pathway la nekko te ogadan tokte integrate ayi te. Itla. Manaki urea cycle lo farm ayi nekko te adino succinate nunchi. Adi divide ayi te oka vai po arginine inko vai po fumaric acid ayi te farm ayi. This fumarate is a part of TCA cycle. Okay. Then the fumarate, इधर ही मानो साइटोसाल ने जरूरत नहीं होती। ये रखेंगे फार्म में फ्यूमरेट एंटर्स इनटू साइटो टीसीए साइकिल एंड इट इस कन्वर्टेड टू मैलेट एंड इस कन्वर्टेड टू अल्सेलर स्टेट एंड सो ऑन। ओके अल्सेलर स्टेट में चेस्ट चल को इधर में साइक्लिक प्रोसेस। एट द सेम टाइम अल्सेलर स्टेट इस कन्वर्ट uh, aspartic acid is converted into arginosuccinate. Uh, aspartic acid, okay, which is the precursor substance for uh, arginosuccinate, so which combines with this citrullate. Irakanga, Manaki, arginosuccinate dissociate, Ide, Okawai, arginine, Okawai, fumarate form out in the that enters into TCA cycle. Okay, so Okawala Manak axillary state, Lekoga, that will be converted into aspartate that enters into. Urea cycle by combining with citrine. This is a rendo connection. Co connection is the TCA cycle. In general, this versa reaction is the CO2 producer. Those CO2s they combine with the ammonia to form carbamyl phosphate. This is a link. In the TCA cycle, form produce in a, uh, immediately the NADH will immediately they enter into the electron transport chain. Okay, so uh, and ATPs are produced. These ATPs are utilized in the uh, urea cycle. So in this way, so there are three connections, uh, particularly one in the form of fumarate, another in the form of CO2, another in the form of ATP. Okay, well, axillary level sequence that will be converted into aspartate, and that combines with citrulline to form arginosuccinate, and it continues. Uh, production of urea from the arsenic. So this is the integration of both cycles. Manaku, there are three reactions in the amino acid metabolisms. Eight every three reactions and okay, transamination, deamination, and decarboxylation. Transamination, deamination. Transamination, comma, D amination, decarboxylation. These are the three important steps of amino acid metabolism or catabolism. And the Roman transamination, deamination. So, last one is. So decarboxylation. The important steps. Okay, so now decarboxylation. Decarboxylation and the removal of carbon dioxide from amino acid with the formation of amines. Idoka amino acid, okay, NH2 group of CO2. So then you can go for CO2 remove your birthday by the enzyme decarboxylase. Okay, so uh, it will produce an amine, or you can also call it as a biogenic amine. So usually amines have high physi physiological activities like uh, hormones in the form of hormones, neurotransmitters, etc. Anyway, so decarboxylation of amino acids are three types. One is alpha decarboxylation, omega decarboxylation, uh, decarboxylation with transamination 
and one more thing is decarboxylation with the conjugation of two molecules. Here, simple decarboxylase enzyme participates. Alpha decarboxylation at the alpha carbon. If you don't want CO2 removal, then alpha decarboxylation. Okay, well, left side of one twenty CO2 removal, then omega decarboxylation. Okay, so decarboxylation with transamination and dainty. Nante, one in the solution of transamination, the oka amino acid into the oka keto acid into the okay. So the amino group, the niki, the ni keto group, the niki transfer it. Okay, if we out to name, okay, transaminases and it will be illa out to name. So, E CO2 and it would remove the award. That is decarboxylation with transamination and decarboxylation with conjugation of two molecules. Ikada idoka alkyl coega, madam, check coach. S is the COA actually. C double bond was COA. So, thionyl coe. Uh, this is an amino acid. So, e, e alkyl coe and this uh, amino acid, when they are conjugated, when they are combined. Okay, so this CO and R2 are attached in this place. And this CO2 is last. And the thionyl coe is also last. So, anyway, these are the kind of uh, decarboxylation. So, e any reactions lo manak CO2 ne produce ho toh that participates in the, uh, you know, uh, either this is expelled out through the expiration or it can be joined with the urea cycle. So, manak ye decarboxylation lo air reaction use kuna manak tu air pade baat ni amine santam le da biogenic amine santam. Okay. So, e amines and it would be rakrakal gaunte and low important amines. Many decarboxylated amino acids, which are called amines, have significant biological functions. For example, histidine which form a histamine, tryptophan which form a serotonin, dopamine which form a uh, tyrosine which form a dopamine. When it name, uh, biological amines have this up. Okay, uh, some amines might be involved. In this farm management meet lo, kunne mo cellular signaling lo participate jista hai, kunne mo regulation of physiological functions lo participate jista hai, kunne mo important bio biomolecules ki precursors substances ka abhi uh, act jista hai, okay? E, e biogenic amines. For example, how cellular signaling, which compounds participate in cellular signaling? Serotonin usne munda ka. Which is derived from the tryptophan. Okay, tryptophan which form a twenty serotonin and a biogenic amine is a neurotransmitter. Okay, that is nerve impulses in conduct jade and he told for day twenty. Okay, neurotransmitter and the paka paka on the word neurons ni information passed out and keep on a crystal pulling a lot of the neurotransmitter on a lot of okay, serotonin also one kind of. You know, neurotransmitter just like style for a okay, so that regulates mood, appetite, and sleep. Serotonin and it will then well, let's dedicate 20. You can nerve impulse signaling and it will then for the maintenance of mood for the uh, causing of appetite and akali as a nidra. Then it summons that 20 nerve impulses in serotonin and it will be synaptic transmitter. Let the neurotransmitter and the help this. It binds to specific serotonin receptors on target cells, triggering various cellular responses. Okay, our uh, muscles near the simple uh, relax chest only. Okay, that makes us either sleep or mood change or feeling hungry. It is serotonin formed from the tryptophan. Dopamine, it is formed from the amino acid tyrosine. Okay, so is a Key neurotransmitter it is the chana important in brain involved in reward, motivation, and motor control. It is just like serotonin lagane, okay, uh, neurotransmitter. Okay, so it helps for the motivation, okay, uh, muscle uh, con contraction regulation. Okay, and uh, see here, reward means uh, response. Okay, so for all these uh, dopamine, 
uh, which is a neurotransmitter, just like crystal chloride, it uh, helps for these uh, reactions. Uh, in these reactions, it acts as a biological signaling molecule, just like crystal chloride. It activates dopamine receptors, increasing neuronal activity and behavior. And histamine, it is produced from the histidine amino acid. It is histidine amino acid produced. Histamine plays a role in the immune response of histamine and the participants in inflammation. Ki. Okay, that is the gastric acid secretion like HCL. Okay, and acts as neurotransmitter also. Histamine and the brain low. Neurotransmitter that could have punches to the and then Oka neuron key, inco neuron key, but the information ni pass a la chaser ni neurotransmitter at the brain low histamine punches. It binds with the histamine receptors affecting vascular permeability and the injures to the Rakthanala Vakocham and the cellular. Okay, so it makes high permeability for the uh, blood capillaries. Okay, whenever any wound is occurred in that area the vascular permeability is increased by the histamine okay and also it is responsible for the smooth muscle contraction and it also helpful in the neurotransmission that is histamine so regulation of physiological function okay amine save it in that position we could need physiological functions in regulate this for example epinephrine nor epinephrine and it be they are they are nothing but the derivatives of amino acids Okay, for example, norepinephrine gani, epinephrine gani, rindu guda, tyrosine nunche produce out there. So, manak cells hu, e hormones and it might be fight, flight, fright hormones and it might be. Okay, again, yes, thai yeh nante. So, manaki, uh, they increase our metabolic activity. So, by increasing heart rate, blood flow to muscles and the glucose are released into the blood uh, for the uh, Production of energy, etc. So, only uh, amines produced due to decarboxylation, they act as hormones and the precursors for other important biomolecules. And the biogenic amines and it will be only uh, it are a compounds formation would help out there. like melatonin. Melatonin is another hormone. Serotonin can be further converted into melatonin. A hormone that regulates sleep wake cycles in velocity and circadian rhythms. Manaku so manamu padapodamu interleva cyclic process. Okay, then circadian rhythms and buddha. One of the best examples for the circadian rhythms. Then a control this hormone melatonin are the produced from the serotonin. And thyroid hormones and it won't be tyrosine is a precursor for synthesis of thyroid hormones T4 and T3, triado, tetraido, thyroxines, okay, which regulate metabolic rate, growth, and development. Okay, they are also amines. Tyrosine is an amine. And catalamines. Okay, tyrosine is also precursor for catalamines. In the common way, the Vishnu, one it me catalamines and it is chemical. They are called catalamines. Okay, so they are produced from the, so, you know, uh, tyrosine when it is deaminated or decarboxylated, sorry, decarboxylated. So, which are involved with stress response, mood regulation, and cardiovascular functions. And uh, GABA, GABA, GABA amino butyric acid, okay, from uh, formed from the glutamic acid, okay, which is an amino acid. Okay, so GABA is the main, it is chala important. Neurotransmitters and it will be available. For example, is okay, ending of one neuron and pondi. This is ending of another neuron and pondi. So, Ikada, estyl choline and edigani, level in the use in a serotonin gani. Again, is the Ikad release, I think. Ikad release, I Ikad not want information, Ikad not want receptors, the Akupoli, he information it fast chest. Okay, Kani, only GABA, GABA network of a neurotransmitter, maybe, Rendu neural information fast, Kakunda, 
ఇనిబిట్ చేస్తుంది ఓకే రెండింటి మధ్య ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ పాస్ కాకుండా ఇనిబిట్ చేస్తుంది దట్ ఈస్ మెయిన్ ఇన్హిబిటరీ న్యూరో ట్రాన్స్మిటర్ ఇన్ సెంట్రల్ నర్వస్ సిస్టమ్ ఓకే సో హెల్పింగ్ ఇన్ రెగ్యులేట్ న్యూరోనల్ ఎక్సైటే ఎక్సైటబిలిటీ మెయింటైన్ బ్యాలెన్స్ బిట్వీన్ ఎక్సైటేషన్ అండ్ ఇన్హిబిషన్ ఒకసారి మనం ఓవర్ గా ఎక్సైటెడ్ గా కాకుండా దిస్ గావా హెల్ప్స్ ఓకే సో ఆ రకంగా అది ఇన్హిబిటర్ న్యూరో ట్రాన్స్మిటర్ and taurin it is derived from the cysteine so taurin is involved in bile salt formation manne illa chustha munna bile salt formation appudu taurin anedanta compound chusnam okay that is helpful for the formation of bile salts formation so it also helpful in cardiovascular function okay so and development and function of central nervous system ki తారిన్ అనేది అవసరం ఇవన్నీ బయోజెనిక్ అమైన్స్ విచ్ ఆర్ ప్రొడ్యూస్ డ్యూ టు డికార్బాక్సిలేషన్ సో దిస్ ఈస్ ద లాస్ట్ టాపిక్ ఇన్బార్న్ ఎర్రస్ ఆఫ్ అమైనో యాసిడ్ మెటబాలిజం ఓకే సో మనకి అమైనో యాసిడ్స్ మెటబాలిజం లో ఇండివిజువల్ అమైనో యాసిడ్ మెటబాలిజం లో లేదా వాటి కెటబాలిజం లో ఓకే ఏదైనా ఒక దగ్గర ఏదైనా బ్లాకేడ్ ఆర్ ఏదైనా ఎంజిఎం అనేది మనకి ఆబ్సెంట్ అయితే దట్ లీడ్స్ టు ఎ పర్టికులర్ డిసీజ్ మోస్ట్ ఆఫ్ దీస్ ఆర్ ఇన్బార్న్ జెనెటిక్ మ్యూటేషన్స్ వాటినే ఇన్బార్న్ ఎర్రర్స్ అని పిలుస్తాం ఓకే దీస్ మెటబాలిక్ ఎర్ర ఏవైతే దీస్ ఆర్ ఎ గ్రూప్ ఆఫ్ జెనెటిక్ డిజార్డర్స్ ఇన్బార్న్ ఎర్రర్స్ ఆర్ మెటబాలిజం అనేది రిజల్టింగ్ ఫ్రమ్ ది డిఫెక్సింగ్ ఎంజైమ్స్ ఇన్వాల్వ్ ఇన్ మెటబాలిజం ఆఫ్ అమ్మినాసిడ్స్ దీస్ మెటబాలిక్ ఎర్రర్స్ కెన్ లీడ్ టు అక్యుమిలేషన్ ఆర్ డెఫిషియన్సీ ఆఫ్ సర్టన్ అమ్మినాసిడ్స్ and their metabolites then well emai that the enzyme let go down la konni amino acids form ga kochu leda ee amino acids yokka intermediate compounds metabolites form ga kochu causing variety of health issues here are some common inborn errors of amino acid metabolites phenyl ketonuria diagram is there సో ఇక్కడ ఫినైల్ అలనైన్ ఈజ్ కన్వర్ట్ ఇన్ టు టైరోసిన్ బై ది ఎంజైమ్ ఫినైల్ అలనైన్ హైడ్రాక్సిలేజ్ ఒకవేళ కనుక ఈ ఫినైల్ అలనైన్ హైడ్రాక్సిలేజ్ ఎంజైమ్ అనేది లేకపోతే టైరోసిన్ ఈజ్ నాట్ ప్రొడ్యూస్ ఫినైల్ అలనైన్ అనేటువంటిది ఎక్కువ బ్లడ్ లో అక్యుములేట్ అయ్యి ఓకే దట్ ఈస్ ఎక్స్క్రిటెడ్ త్రూ దట్ ఈస్ ఎక్స్క్రిటెడ్ త్రూ యూరిన్ యూరిన్ ద్వారా బయటకి పంపించి వేయబడుతుంది దాన్నే మనం ఫినైల్ కిటో యూరియా అని పిలవడం జరుగుతుంది సో ద ఎంజైమ్ ఈస్ ఫినైల్ అల్నైన్ హైడ్రాక్సిలైజ్ లోపం వల్ల అలా జరుగుతుంది ఓకే సో ఫినైల్ కిటో యూరియా యా డెఫిషియన్సీ ఆఫ్ ది ఎంజైమ్ ఫినైల్ అల్నైన్ హైడ్రాక్సిలైజ్ ఈ ఎంజైమ్ లోపం వల్ల ఇది ఏర్పడుతుంది అక్యుములేషన్ ఆఫ్ ఫినైల్ అల్నైన్ అండ్ ఇట్స్ టాక్సిక్ మెటబాలైట్స్ సింటమ్స్ ఏంటి అంటే ఇంటలెక్చువల్ డిజబిలిటీ డెవలప్మెంటల్ డిలేస్ బిహేవియరల్ ప్రాబ్లం ఇదంతా న్యూరలాజికల్ ప్రాబ్లమ్స్ అనమాట ఫినైల్ కిటో మీడియా ఇందులో ఏమవుతుంది యూరిన్ లో ఫినైల్ అల్నైన్ అనేది ఎక్స్క్రిట్ అవుతుంది ఈ ఎంజైమ్ లేకపోవడం వల్ల మేపుల్ సిరప్ యూరిన్ డిసీజ్ ఓకే కాజ్ ఏంటి డెఫిషియన్సీ ఇన్ బ్రాంచ్డ్ చైన్ ఆల్ఫా కీటో యాసిడ్ డిహైడ్రోజనేస్ కాంప్లెక్స్ అది ఏం చేస్తుంది సో ఈ బ్రాంచ్డ్ చైన్ అమైనో యాసిడ్స్ అనేటువంటి యూసిన్ ఐసోలేసిన్ వ్యాలిన్ వంటి బ్రాంచ్డ్ చైన్ అమైనో యాసిడ్స్ యొక్క డీగ్రేడేషన్ కి ఈ బ్రాంచ్డ్ చైన్ ఆల్ఫా కీటో యాసిడ్ డిహైడ్రోజనేస్ కాంప్లెక్స్ అనేటువంటిది వాటి డీగ్రేడేషన్ లో ఓకే లేదా వాటి కీటో యాసిడ్స్ యొక్క డీగ్రేడేషన్ లో ఇది అవసరం అది లోపిస్తుంది లోపించడం వల్ల ఏమవుతుంది ఇవన్నీ అక్యుములేట్ అవుతుంది బ్లాన్స్ చేయి అమైనాసిడ్ లైక్ ల్యూసిన్ ఐసోల్యూసిన్ వ్యాలిన్ ఎక్కడ బ్లడ్ లో అండ్ దర్ కీటో యాసిడ్స్ కూడా అక్యుములేట్ అవుతాయి సో దీనివల్ల సిమ్టమ్స్ ఏమొస్తాయంటే ద యూరిన్ ఈజ్ స్వీట్ స్మెల్లింగ్ యూరిన్ ఓకే సో అదొక ఎక్స్టర్నల్ సిమ్టమ్ సో న్యూరలాజికల్ డిస్ఫంక్షన్ ఓకే సో ల్యాక్ ఆఫ్ అపటైట్ okay and uh, growth related delays are seen okay so the most important is very famous alkaptonuria 
So alkaptan means homogenesic acid. Homogenesic acid is an intermediate in the tyrosine phenylalanine metabolism. Okay, phenylalanine is converted to phenylalanine hydroxylase enzyme uh, that converts phenylalanine into tyrosine. Okay, so tyrosine means dopamine and it will be uh, synthesized. That is another uh, path. Ikada, tyrosine is converted to 4 hydroxy phenyl pyruvic acid. Okay, 4 phenyl, 4 hydroxy phenyl uh, pyruvic acid is converted into homogenesic acid with the help of this enzyme 4, 4 hydroxy phenyl pyruvic acid dioxygenase. Now, this homogenesic acid, which is also known as alkaptan in the Latin, okay, so if this enzyme which converts homogenesic acid into Malay esteroestic acid. Okay. So, this is the homogenesic acid. Malay esteroestic acid convert this homogenesic acid dioxygenase. Enzyme. Okay. Neurological defects. That is produced. That is homogenesic acid. And it will blood low accumulate. This homogenesic acid is alkaptan. Alkaptan is the urea low excrete. And the given alcapto urea and we'll stop. So alcapto alcapto urea and it won't be it is the disease in which alcaptan or homogenesic acid is accumulated in the blood that is sent to the kidneys where it is mixed with the urine. When that urine is exposed to air, urine exposed to air having alkaptan or homogenesic acid, when it touches the, you know, air, so the urea, uh, the urine, it, its color is changed to black color. That is the main uh, symptom of this disease. Okay, actually, in the homogenesic acid is converted into malleal esteroestic acid that is converted into humoral esteroestic acid. Then the, this is converted into okay, so fumaric acid plus esteroestic acid. The converter okay, they, they enter into TCSIT. Okay, but it could be the homogenesic acid. The enzyme genetic defects will produce the alkaptan and the blood load. Mix cycle blood and the urine and the better uh, release hair and that will be converted to black color. Alkaptan urea is a rare inherited metabolic disorder characterized by the body's instability to break down amino acid, tyrosine, and phenylalanine. Okay, tyrosine, phenylalanine, and it want to be if we degradation time low, it could have a black and it could have a high the pathway and the Okay, so in the absence of this enzyme, okay, so that is uh, accumulation of homogenesic acid that is called alkaptonuria, black urine. So, anyway, this results in the accumulation of substance called homogenesic acid in the body, leading to various symptoms and complications. So, in the case of the homogenesate 1,2 dioxygenase, HGT energy, so is deficient in these patients. Okay, so which is responsible for the breakdown of homogenesic acid. Homogenesic acid means that we have malleal esteroestic acid. We have to use the same thing. Okay, so this enzyme deficiency is due to mutation in homogenesic acid gene inherited in an autosomal recessive manner. Okay, so I in the deficient out in the homogenesic dioxygenase. There is simply homogenesic acid oxygenase and it will be due to mutation in homogenesic acid dioxygenase gene no produce say a uh, gene low mutation valla okay so which is inherited by an autosomal recessive uh, gene from the parents 
This means that an individual must inherit two copies of mutated gene. And a rendu copy. Okay, so umtene that will be lead to alkaptonemia. Okay, okay, well, heterozygous condition on a normal person. Yeah, then well, I'm gonna symptoms dark urine. Okay, in the Japan, acronosis. This refers to the bluish black discoloration of connective tissues, particularly noticeable in ear cartilage and the sclera, white eye of the uh, white of the eye and skin. Then the acronosis and the emergency acid and the storage of the okay, connective tissue and the bluish black and white carbon. Okay, so ear cartilage the grounds near nature part of the eyes clear up. And the skin and the bluish black color of the mm, giant pay, uh, and the spine problems of the heart problems of the kidney and prostate stones to synthesis of the capital media. Uh, uh, e disease and e symptoms occur also. Yeah, air problems. And next, heart numb disease. So, heart numb disease is the defect in the transport of neutral amino acids like amino acids like uh, glycine. Okay, alanine. Okay, so uh, neutral amino acids, kidneys, kidney, uh, in the kidneys and intestines, kidneys in which blood key, yeah, the intestine in which blood key transport our low, then okay, the problem, the black, the leather, possible, that causes heart no disease. Then we have the amino acid urea and the excretion of amino acids in the urea. Simple. Okay, so if the kidney loki will in advance amino acids reabsorption, that the problem heart not easy. So the amino acids better ki abhi release hypotai. Okay, so symptoms in the end dermatitis, diarrhea, dementia, glossitis, kilosis, fatigue. When the pelagra like symptoms. And ataxia, okay. So psychiatric symptoms, a kind of you know, ataxia and it is son of the moon in Japan, okay. So, and the psychiatric symptoms, even the heart of this is a symptoms, and albinism, albinism, you know, uh, simple like Japan, really. albinism, and it is on a body low, not one to melanocytes and it one skin cells, the also the body low, colonna cells, the other. Melanocytes on okay. So, and the phenyl alanine by phenyl alanine hydroxylase is converted to tyrosine. Tyrosine by the enzyme ty tyrosine hydroxylase enzyme, well, it is converted into 3 comma 4 dihydroxy phenyl alanine from which it is converted into melanin. E melanin and edi, man body color ni cast chest, color produce chest. Melanin is nothing but the body color pigment. Okay, well, man, tyrosinase and enzyme and the lake of the engine produce that of the melanin produce that okay that leads to the person into albino colorless person okay so other is an enzyme lake of tyrosine hydroxylase lake of when tyrosine is not converted to dopa dopa uh okay well, Tyrosine is unna, idi lake poina, melanin and produce well. Overall, ga, melanin production low, low pom valla. Tyrosine is in low pom also. Leather, tyrosine hydroxylase in low pom also. Tyrosine and phenyl alanine and tyrosine and dopa are accumulated in the blood. Okay, and melanin is not produced in the melanocyte. Okay, that loses body color. Body color and it won't be a the farm car. Okay, so there are different types of uh, melanin, three types of melanin. U melanin and it will be okay. Uh, the uh, vectin but into this type is responsible for the black and brown colors. This is typical uh, kind of melanin. Okay, in hair and skin, no U melanin into me and black color and color is a melanin and uh, few melanin. This type. Produces a red and yellow colors, okay, contributing to red hair and freckles at the ending and it would be yellowish color. Uh, and then 
neuromelanin found in brain its function is less understood but it may protect neurons so in may u melanin few melanin are actually common types okavela melanin production lo tyrosine is an enzyme lekapoda valla that will not be converted into l dopa okay so and then to dopa kinin that means melanin is produced out of okay so dopa kinin is further process process to produce u melanin లేదా సింపుల్ గా మెలనిన్ లేదా ఫ్యూ మెలనిన్ అనేది డోపాక్యూమ్ నుంచి ప్రొడ్యూస్ అవుతుంది సో ఆ ఎంజైమ్ ఏదైతే ఉందో టైరోసినేజ్ ఎంజైమ్ లోపం వల్ల ఈ మెలనిన్ అనేది ప్రొడ్యూస్ కాక ఆ పీపుల్ అనే వాళ్ళు అల్బినోస్ అవుతారు ఈ కండిషన్ ని మనము అల్బినిజం అని పిలుస్తాము సో విత్ దిస్ వీ హావ్ కంప్లీటెడ్ ది అమైనో యాసిడ్ మెటబాలిజం అండ్ బయోకెమిస్ట్రీ విత్ దిస్ ద బయోకెమిస్ట్రీ పార్ట్ ఈస్ కంప్లీటెడ్ Okay, so I'm stopping here. Let's continue.